Thanks for getting quiet so quickly. All of our guests, there are some chairs in the back. Please make yourself comfortable. First, I want to uh, welcome everybody to Forest Park IE School. We're very honored to have you join us today for this special event. I want to thank a few people who made this event possible. First and foremost, I want to thank you to, a big thank you to Rita Renwick for organizing today's activities. I'd like to give her a round of applause for getting this together. <laughs> Mrs. Renwick is a longtime friend of our school, so when she called and suggested we do this here, uh, it was an unequivocal yes. Acknowledgement is also due to four of my teachers who prepared our third and fourth graders to perform for you this morning as part of our activities. My third grade team is Jamie Bambalis and Sue McIntyre. Would you raise your hands, please? My fourth grade team is Bridget Krusik and Michelle Aniotis. Would you please raise your hands? And I'm sure that Lynn Paquette uh, pitched in with some of her music background as well. Lynn, would you please be recognized? I'd like, like to offer a brief background on our school for some of our guests who may not be familiar with us. Forest Park Individual Education School is a District 86 magnet school. We are unique because we operate as a Corsini for our school. We're founded on the four R's of respect, responsibility, resourcefulness, and responsiveness. Students at Forest Park have uh, more concrete opportunities to take personal responsibility for their learning and for their behavior. Parents must agree to this philosophy and for, in order for their children to attend the school. Within the 4R Foundation, the IE program operates on three principles of socialization, academics, and creativity. Each quarter, our students select three elective or creative courses suited to their personal preferences. One creative course that was offered last year and this year was our garden club. As I direct your attention this way to our two raised garden beds, the garden club, working very closely with the Cool Joliet organization, was responsible for our two garden beds. Students planned, planted, built, watered, and tended tulips and vegetables. They came up nicely last year. It was an excellent hands-on opportunity for our students. Much like the Garden Club that's been an effect at Forest Park, this morning's activities are a celebration of all the good things that our natural environment has to offer us. Today we will explore trees through history, through song, through poetry and posters. There will even be a hands-on experience with trees today at the end of our program. At this time, without further ado, I'd like to turn the program over to Rena Renwick, who will introduce our distinguished guests. Once again, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Principal Darley. <clears throat> um, I love this school. My kids all went to this school. I spent a lot of years here, and I'm excited to be back. And what a nice day for Arbor Day, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, too. We have sunshine, it's a little bit warmer, perfect for planting trees. Um, today we have a lot of guests here with us. We have Mayor Geronti, we have uh, Councilman Fisher, Councilman Morris. We have uh, Illinois represent, uh, representative for the 98th District, Natalie Manley. We have Scott Paddock, our um, Chicagoland Speedway president. We have Jim Tiber, our city forester. And we'd like to thank all of you, uh, other people who showed up for this wonderful event. It's a, it's a great day. Um, we also, um, I'm going to call, I think, Jim Tiber up because he's going to thank some people who provided our trees today. Um, actually, we do have Jason from the fields back there. Would you wave? <laughs> the fields nursery provided the two trees that we're planting today. Um, and I think Jim's going to talk about some other trees that we've gotten from some very uh, wonderful people. So Jim.
Hi, my name is Jim Tiber. I'm the arborist for City of Juliet. I've been with City of Juliet for about 16 years. Um, I'll be really fast with this. Uh, when I was younger, the City of Juliet once relied heavily on, his, on the steel mills and industries and other blue collar jobs. Um, at those times, those, those jobs, uh, the steel mills and, and the, the other jobs around the City of Joliet attracted people to the City of Joliet. Um, but now we rely, we rely heavily on our urban forest combined with the beautification landscaping to remain appealing, attractive to families, future residents, and visitors. And every, every year we choose a school to do an Arbor Day celebration. And this year I want to thank the Forest Park School and, and their students for celebrating this special day with us today. Uh, to keep our urban forest alive, thriving, and attractive, uh, we are also giving each student a tree to take home. All the trees are over here. So everyone's going to be able to take a tree to home or, or to their neighbor's house or to their grandma's house or anywhere you want to plant it. Uh, put in that new tree. Um, these trees are not only for you, but they're also for the City of Joliet residents, uh, future residents, visitors, future boys and girls, so they can experience these trees in the future. So, um, so please take these trees home, find them a new home, and keep our home a very attractive place to live and attractive place for, for visitors who come in the City of Joliet to experience. Um, and I also would like to thank NASCAR, uh, Chicago Land Speedway. Chicago Land Speedway donated the City of Joliet 50 trees this year so we can plant throughout our community um, and make it more attractive. And I would like to thank Homer Tree Service, who are these guys up in the trees right now. Later on today, they're going to give a little demonstration on how they they kind of swing around the trees and they'll trim some branches off of there. They also donate the mulch. Um, I want to thank again the Fields Nursery for the do their donations of trees. And um, I think that's it for the star. Um, so now I, I think I want to pass it on to you want Natalie Manley is going to speak. Thank you very much. Thanks for those posters. You guys did a great job. Hi, everybody. Thank you for having me here. I'm a state representative. Does anybody know that? It is a great job. And the best part of my job is I get to visit schools. I'm always so happy when I can be at a school. Um, I always say if you're having a bad day, stop at a school because you will feel uh, revived and hopeful. So thank you for letting me be here. Um, you guys are all in green to like, oh, there goes my program. You guys are all in green to talk about trees, right? I need that really bad. <laughs> I need that really bad. Um, I wish I had known I would have worn green too. Um, do you guys know what trees do for our lives? What do they do? They help provide oxygen, right? So take a nice deep breath. Take a nice deep breath. Doesn't that feel good? Those are from the trees. Uh, happy Arbor Day. Say happy Arbor Day. Happy Arbor Day. Um, Joliet has been designated Tree City USA for 22 years. That's wonderful, isn't it? Let's give Joliet a round of applause. Yay, Joliet! One of the reasons Joliet has become such a great place to live in and raise a family. Uh, this community has shown that they're serious about building a better place to live. And I want to extend my personal gratitude um, to all the residents and also Mayor Girani, City Council, uh, for their continued leadership and vision and true caring for the people in this community. Um, also, Chicago Land Speedway, uh, they've done numerous things, including all those trees. Uh, thank you. The Fields, Homer Tree Service, um, thank you for your support and investment in this great city and in all of their lives. It's really important. Um, when we talk about trees in conversation, sometimes in literature when you read about it, they always talk about trees signifying life and strength and endurance, and I see that right here before me. So give yourselves a, some applause. I like your four R's. What were the four R's again? Respect. All right, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that all down. Everybody should live their lives that way, right? 
Yep. I want to present um, the mayor of the city who helps all this happen for us, Tom Girani, who's having a hard time with his knee today. So, but I'd like to present a certificate of recognition, and it says the city to the city of Joliet, Illinois, in recognition of the celebration of the 22nd consecutive Tree City USA achievement and joins in the commemoration of Arbor Day in the city of Joliet celebrated this day, April 26, 2013. It's signed by the Speaker of the House, Michael Madigan, and Tim Mapes, the Clerk of the House. Congratulations. Thanks for letting me be here. Have a great day. Okay, next we have um, Scott Paddock, and he's going to come up and tell us about NASCAR's way to make our community greener. And you know, they, NASCAR and Chicagoland Speedway has donated trees for five years in a row to the city, and it's a wonderful addition to our city. So, here's Scott. That's great. Well, I didn't think it would go that high. That's terrific. So, well, good morning. Thank you, Principal Darby, and thank you all to, to Forestview for having us out here today. You know, I went to school at Notre Dame, and I'm Irish, so I've got plenty of green in my closet. Shame on me for getting to wear green on Arbor Day. So I'm going to remember that next year when I get ready in the morning for this event. But, uh, you know, it's great to be here today. And uh, just by way of background, back in 2009, NASCAR, which is, uh, I don't know if, how many of you have ever been to the Chicagoland Speedway. Who's been to the Speedway? Oh, wow, good number, great. Well, we look forward to having you again this year. But uh, NASCAR started a program called the NASCAR Green Clean Air Initiative. And one of the components of that program was for every green flag that is dropped during a NASCAR race, they will donate 10 flags, uh, 10 trees to be planted in every market. So if we're planting, I'm gonna test you here, if we're planting 50 trees today and we give 10 trees for every green flag, how many green flags were there in our race? Oh, I see a hand back there. Five, you got it. Hey, give her a hand. Great job. This is a smart group, Principal. So, but, uh, so we're proud today to be planting 50 trees around the city of Joliet as part of this program. And, you know, it's, it's part of NASCAR and the Chicagoland Speedway's effort to, you know, uh, to combat and mitigate the carbon emissions that come. And these clean, these new trees that are gonna be planted this year we're, are gonna do that. So uh, it's important for us and for all of us to make sure that we're doing all we can to protect our environment for future generations like you. And so I would encourage you to all remember that, that we, we gotta keep our environment clean and healthy. And we look forward to working with the city and the state moving forward to make sure that we make the city of Joliet a clean, safe, and, uh, and healthy place to live. So thanks for having us out here today. And I think we're gonna start planting here pretty soon. Have a great day. Okay. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's this one, right? <laughs> I'm uh, vertically challenged <laughs> by comparison. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you know, Arbor Day was actually started in 1872 uh, by a man named J. Sterling Morton. And he was in Nebraska, and if you've ever been through Nebraska, you don't see a lot of trees there. It's a very flat part of the mid middle of our country, the Great Plains. Um, and he wanted more trees. Um, and there's a reason he wanted more trees, because trees do a lot of good for us. And when you, some of you did posters, and you wrote down some of the great things that trees do for us. Can you raise your hand and tell me one really good thing about trees? Right here in the yellow. Trees help the earth grow. Well, they definitely are around us and they're growing things, aren't they? Right here. Mm -hmm. They do, they take in carbon dioxide, which is a byproduct. When we breathe, we give off carbon dioxide and then they give us oxygen to breathe, which is a really good thing. And they take pollutants out of the air 
Yes. Right. It's important to plant trees so that we can be healthy. Um, in fact, I was just reading about um, in scientific journals and studies that they've done, if you have an illness or an injury, you get better faster if you can look out a window and see trees and nature. And also they said if you've been under a stressful situation, if you can be around trees and nature, it makes you feel better. And also, in communities where there are trees, people will be out walking more on the streets and they will have fewer problems with their health. They are healthier communities if they have trees and nature around them. So those are all the good things about trees. One more thing, anybody else? Yes, in pink. Mm -hmm. Right, they provide us with shelter, um, they provide us with shade, they cool our cities, all those good things. Um, and so, you know, we've been celebrating Arbor Day for a lot of years, and in, in the city of Joliet, this is our 23rd Arbor Day celebration, and so we're really happy to be doing this today. Um, we are going to have um, our Arbor Day proclamation, and uh, Mayor Geronti, are you up to this again? Before I read this, uh, I'd like to thank Principal Darley for hosting this and Representative Manley for that nice award, but um, I have to accept that for the Tree Advisory Board and Rita and all the work she does to keep this going and make this 23 years in a row possible. Rita, thank you very much. That's better. That's better. Thank you. You know, um, a few years ago, my wife and I moved to a new home, and one of the things we missed, other than the neighbors that we missed very much, were the big, beautiful trees we had in our own neighborhood. The new neighborhood has trees, but they're all small. They're about the size of the one by the red car there. But we really miss the, the trees. Um, and it's great that we do these things to make sure that we, that we ha keep this going with the trees. You know, we're having problems right now with some of the trees that are, are dying, our ash trees. But uh, we're in the process of uh, trying to get some money to replace them. But even if we replace them, it's not going to be big trees like this. It's going to be smaller trees, and it's going to make a difference. But eventually, eventually, the trees that we replace them with will grow to good-sized trees. I also want to thank Chicago Speedway, Scott Paddock, for all you do. Uh, you're a great uh, business in town, a great uh, leader, and we really thank you very much. Homer Tree Service, uh, the, the uh, fields, thank you very much for all you do. And with that, I'll uh, read this proclamation. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special date be set aside for, for the planting of trees. Whereas this holiday, called Arbor Day, was first observed with the planting of more than one million trees in Nebraska. One million trees. Whereas trees can clean air, produce oxygen, provide habitat for wildlife, reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, and moderate the temperatures. Whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas and beautify our community. And whereas Joliet has been recognized as Tree City USA for the 22nd consecutive year by the National Arbor Day Foundation, and Joliet desires to continue in tree planting ways. Now therefore, I, Thomas Durante, Mayor of the City of Joliet, on behalf of the Joliet City Council, do hereby proclaim April 26, 2013 as Arbor Day in the City of Joliet and I urge all citizens to support the efforts to care for our trees and woodlands and to support our community's forestry program. And signed uh, April 16, 19, uh, 2013. 
Okay. Um, just a little aside, we're going off our program a little bit, but I always, Principal Darley's a big help, isn't he? <laughs> Okay, we're keeping him busy. Um, I wanted to just do a little aside. Actually, it's a big aside. Several years ago, to about 23 years ago, some of uh, the citizens in the city were calling Mr. Fisher over here because we were upset that trees were being cut down and they weren't being replanted. In fact, when I called the city, I found out that every year for about 10 years, the city had taken down about 100 trees. Now here's some math. Does anybody know if you take 100 trees down every year for 10 years, how many trees is that? How many trees? Sunglasses over here. Do you know? Raise your hand if you know. What do you think? Right here in green in peace shirt <laughs> a thousand trees okay there's a math problem for you all right but what if you plant a hundred trees every year for ten years how many trees do you have you have a thousand new trees planted well when we as citizens were upset mr. Fisher got us together and he said let's do something about this you people can meet and he met with us and we formed a tree advisory board and one of our members, Cynthia Wright is here. Where's Cynthia? Oh, there she is sitting at the back. <laughs> She's been on the tree board as long as I have for 23 years. And so we formed a tree advisory board and we started working toward planting of trees. We, after a while, we finally got a, a city arborist, which is Jim Tiber, and he's an expert in trees. He actually went to college to become a forester. How about that? Go to college so you can learn all about taking care of trees and all about trees. Um, but none of it would have started if we hadn't had Mr. Fisher. And so I'm going to call him up here because um, I'm going to make a presentation to him. for him too but for now I'm going to give him this Tree City USA hat don't you think it's pretty neat <laughs> right you know Arbor Day is a, a holiday and it's all about the future all the other holidays think of it Columbus Day it's about the past Thanksgiving it's about the past uh, Fourth of July it's about the past Arbor Day is all about the future when you plant a tree it's there not just for you but for your children it's there for all the people in the city for years to come so um, let's give a big round of applause for mr. Fisher uh, Rita thank you Not as tall as Scott, but almost there. Um, um, I'd like to thank uh, Rita Renwick, and, and I, I, I was the planning director back when Rita was talking 23 years ago, and until about three or four years ago, I was the planning director in the city of Joliet, and Rita's exactly right. I, I remember when I was a younger guy, and um, we had we had a lot of silver maple trees in, in our city and, and elm trees, and uh, this disease came along and wiped out thousands and thousands and thousands of elm trees throughout the city of Joliet. Because of different reasons, the city really never replaced any of those trees. <laughs> And about 23 years ago, as Rita said, uh, we started a tree advisory board. And thank you to Rita very much and all, all the members through the years of the tree advisory board for making trees and our urban landscape a priority in our town. And uh, you know, without, without the help of citizens like Rita 
and, uh, and a mayor who respects the, the forests of our city, um, it's very, very important. Um, I remember the 22 years ago when we, we, Rita and I and our secretary at the time, Willie Yeager, we put together the first application of the state of Illinois to be a tree city. And I, I can remember like it was yesterday, Rita, when we were sitting around Willie's desk and coming up with some numbers to make it work, and, and, it, and it worked. But I, again, I'd like to thank everybody. I'm really proud, you know, over the years, if you um, ask me what's one of the things I'm most proud of is, you know, being a public servant in our community. And I would say it's, it's our forestry program and it's the, um, the hundreds, I'd say we planted between developers and the city of Joliet about 100,000 trees in our community over the last 20 years. And that's a long lasting benefit that, that will last when you're, you're my age and uh, you know trees like you have here at your school, they can grow to be 100 years old. So uh, I, wanna, I wanna ask you a favor. Okay, here, here's a big thing. We need to make sure that our forestry program stays intact. It's very, very important in our community that, that forestry and trees are respected and are part of the community and part of the priorities that we have within our community. It's very important. I know you'll do that. Will you do that for me? Very good. So again, thank you very much. And Rita, and, and bring, I want to bring this guy up, Jim Tiber. Jim, Jim and Rita, come on up here. Um, a good profession to go into is being an urban forester, an arborist. And I remember Jim, when, uh, again, planning director about 17, 16, 17 years ago, Jim was a young guy coming out of college, and um, I, I talked to our city manager at the time, John Mesra, to create a position of a forester in our community. And Jim and Rita, with the help of Rita, have been so dedicated to our community. He's, we only have one forester. Uh, and he's a one-man show that does a tremendous amount of work in our community. And I want—I would like you to give Jim and Rita a big round of applause. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much, and, and, and thank you for the program today. And it's—it uh, it means a lot to me, and I know to our community that uh, you hosted us today. I should be able to figure this out on my own right now, shouldn't I? Oh well, I'm gonna make do the way it is. Um, you know, we had a poster contest and some of the poster contest winners came to the city council meeting, but not all of them did, so I'm gonna call them up right now. Um, and I'm gonna start with the honorable mentions. Right now the posters are on display at City Hall and I'm gonna bring them back to the school on Tuesday. Maybe that's the last time we, <laughs> we have to do that. Okay. The honorable mentions, Corey Caldwell, will you come up? Um, Izel Ramirez. Is it Izel? Jim's gonna give you a plaque. They did get plaques. Um, and then third place was Johnny Leon. And second place was Samantha Parsons. And first place was Brianna Bly. So thank you all for doing a great job on those posters. People down at City Hall, everybody who comes in has been looking at them, and a couple of them came to the City Council meeting. So thank you for your artwork and for participating. Thank you. Okay, now, Finally, it's time to turn the program over to the students, and this is always the most exciting time to do this. So um, I guess teachers, whoever is going first will put you on. Our third graders are going to sing a few songs for you, and then our fourth graders are going to read some poetry for you.
as our fourth graders are getting into place, let's have another round of applause for those third graders and their song. The fourth graders are gonna do a couple choral readings and then a few students will read some individual haiku poems they wrote themselves. What's a tree? Tall and strong, dark and brown, it grows and grows, it is a tree with pride. With nature, it is tied. The sounds of the butterflies make me want to close my eyes and dream about the happiness of trees. My hoop haiku is about sorrel cactus. Sorrel cactus, in the hot sun, standing high. Stand with me, cactus. My haiku is about white oak. The white oak tree gives. It helps animals live well. Illinois State Tree. My haiku is about sorrel cactus. Against the desert, it stands so mag magnificent. Home for desert life. I wrote a haiku on redwood trees. Grows in the forest, they grow in California, our world's tallest trees. All the wonderful, all the wonderful trees had colorful leaves. They were orange, yellow, green. They were the best colors I've ever seen. All the flowers had bloomed and they all had the smell of perfume. Red, green, yellow, brown. There are trees all around town. Trees are such a wonderful sight with their leaves shining bright. Trees are all around us like where squirrels keep their nuts. Even at night, the leaves still shine. They're a beautiful sight. Oh tree, you help us in every way you can. You give us shade, you help the air. Oh tree, how can we help, help you? Can we water you? Can we help you in any way? O tree, please tell us. Poetry. Ready? We Fake for, for the trees. trees. Okay, you know what, I think uh, the kid part of our program is always the most wonderful part. The students, um, it, just, it just gives us an adults a really good feeling. And I have to say, um, you know, asking a school to host an Arbor Day program, it's not a small thing. There are so many things that teachers have to get done. In fact, I know there was ISAT testing and you know to ask you to do a poetry uh, or 
a poster contest and organize and do things with the kids. I mean, I really have to tell the teachers and the principal, thank you so, so much for making this a wonderful day because it's all your effort that really goes into it and we really appreciate it. So, thanks. <laughs> now, we have two trees that are being planted, have been planted almost all the way in your, in your school grounds, on your playground. One is a swamp white oak and the other is a white oak? Bur oak. Now, in a minute we're gonna go over there, but you know these, there are hundreds of you on that play here. So, so you need to really know that you need to be careful with those trees. Um, is it kind of bad if your skin gets cut or scraped? It doesn't feel very good, does it? And, and you can get infections from that and you gotta wash it and take care of it and it heals up. Well, trees out there, they have a skin and it's called bark, right? So you have to be really careful with the bark of a tree. Um, it's got branches and the branches hold the leaves. And what do the leaves do for the tree? The leaves make food, right? And they're the, the leaves are the ones that are taking in the carbon dioxide and giving off the oxygen. So would it be a good thing to take a leaf off of a tree? No, you're depriving that tree of its food. It's like somebody taking away your lunch, right? So you need to really make sure that when you're on the playground, you are looking out for that tree. If somebody's gonna hang on that tree and run around it, gee, they're gonna be stomping on the roots and the roots need, believe it or not, they need water, but they also need air around the roots. You can't press down all the dirt real compact around those roots, they won't, it, the tree won't grow. So I'm counting on all of you to be watching out for the new trees on your playground and take care of them. All right, uh, maybe some of you noticed Dash who's here. You wanna give a big hand to Dash from the Chicago Land Speedway? <laughs> Dash is gonna help us plant trees and Principal Darley, do you have a plan? We have asked teachers to select like five students from each class to help put some dirt around the tree. Um, what do you think? We'll let you lead the way. All right, a few of my teachers have uh, selected some students that are over here. They're gonna be ones that are gonna be putting the dirt uh, around the uh, the base of the tree. Um, we're going to have them go over first and then class by class in the audience will walk over. Um, we'll stay behind. I think they've got some cones set up there. Um, as soon as the uh, students put some dirt around the tree, then we're going to have a demonstration from our, uh, our high-flying friends way up high there. They're going to uh, cut down a few branches for us and show, all the, show us all the wonderful things Homer Tree Service can do to uh, take care of the trees that are already uh, Nice and tall. So we are going to get the first class over there.